Now, President Museveni's senior advisor has told him to be very careful when fronting his son, General Mohozi Kainerugaba, as his successor. I'm coming up with the details. A very good morning to you all the buzz diehards. I'm very happy this morning. We have clocked 20k subscribers. Oh my god. This is amazing. We are growing every single day. I'm telling you. Otherwise, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo aka Fula. Now, Bashir Kasaga, aka Motive Kasaga, another National Unity Platform Party blogger, has been abducted. Sources say he was handpicked this week on Tuesday night from his home by security operatives believed to be from the chieftaincy of military intelligence, commonly known as CMY. However, details are still scanty. But NUP President, His Excellency Bobby Wine, and the Party Secretary General, David Luis Rubonkoya, among others, have condemned the continued abductions of their people. Now, Uganda police is yet to make a statement on the abduction of this brother, and I'll be keeping you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Well, it should be remembered that just a day ago, the chairperson of the Human Rights Commission in Uganda, Maria Mwangadia, called upon the security forces to stop violating human rights. Abantu abakumi bedembe mugwanga tuino kuvera wone turabanti egwanga lisigadde wamu wanyiza kuvera we chintu chimoba bibiri na ite chisobola ku defineinga omulimo gwafe gwetukola Maria Mwangadia says many times as a commission they have ordered police and UPDF to release the abducted people but they don't listen Ebyo bibera we bikorwa ebichamu ebyo metufulumya ebiragiro byafi well, there you go. That is Maria Mwangadia, the chairperson of the Uganda Human Rights Commission. So, yesterday, it was President Museveni's birthday, and according to Museveni, he's now 78 years, something a big section of Ugandans on the opposition side do not believe. And I was going through the social media comments, oh my god, many people on the opposition are very mad at this old man, very, very mad. Anyway, happy belated birthday to the old man, President Museveni, I hope there is no offense in wishing him a happy birthday, guys. <laughs> Another university student, Gaspar Lubanga Kene, a first year student at Uganda Christian University, has passed on in northern Uganda. It's reported that Gaspar was found dead in his room at Kidepo Valley National Park where he was doing internship training. He was pursuing a bachelor of uh, you know tourism and hospitality management. We are yet to know the cause of death, but for now, all we can say is, may his soul rest in peace. Actually, this year we have lost many university students. It's so sad. <music> Jane Unaneza, the woman who was seen in a viral video shoplifting in downtown Kampala, has been arrested. Unaneza is seen pretending to be trying out a pair of shoes as a potential buyer, but she utilizes the chance when the shopkeeper's mind was focused on fitting the shoe onto her foot to stretch out her hand into the handbag which was behind the counter to pick the money. Well, this incident happened at Pentagon Plaza opposite the new tax park. When she was being interrogated at CPS, Unaneza denied ever having been at Pentagon Plaza until this video was played for her. 
After watching the video, she kept quiet and never answered any further questions until she was put behind bars. Police says Unaneza is a serial shoplifter and she'll be charged before this week ends. <music> Well, President Museveni's senior advisor on Buganda Kingdom Affairs, Owechitiwa Robert Sebunya, has pleaded with his boss to be very careful when fronting his son, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba, as his successor. Sebunya has cautioned that it will be a mistake for President Museveni to front his son for presidency using the military card because Ugandans are tired of military rule. Sebunya disclosed that what Ugandans want right now is a government led by a fellow civilian who understands them, not one who will only give orders. Sebunya, however, praised General Mohozi Kanerugaba as a steady military officer who is well versed with military issues, but that advantage alone might not help him go through the rough tides of governing a country. Well, there you go. That is Owechitiwa Robert Sebunya, President Museveni's advisor on Buganda affairs. Well, in case you want to say anything about any of these stories that I have for you this morning, just put it down in the comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Well, my name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.